Hello and welcome to another sketch series. I've changed the format a little bit, but we are back. And today I'm going to be doing some DC Comics and Marvel pop art. What does that mean? Well, let me show you exactly what that means. Uh, I'm going to show you this green arrow pop art piece that I worked on. It was really fun to do, really simple. And uh, I really enjoyed doing it and I thought, hey, it'd be a good idea to do some more of these. So we're going to go ahead and start off with another famous iconic hero, Superman. When, I, when it comes to this pop art stuff, I read a lot of comic books and sometimes I run into artists that I really enjoy like Andrea Sorrentino. He's an Italian artist, he's awesome, and his art has very much a pop feel to it. It's a lot of blacks and then a lot of colors and heavy contrast to those things and very stylistic and very almost postmodern in the way that it's drawn. It's very cool, super cool uh, style of comics. If you've never looked at any of his art, I recommend Green Arrow from the New 52 Volumes 4 and 5. They have his art on it, so check it out. Now, as you can see here, I started off with a basic sketch of Superman. Uh, I'm doing the whole Clark Kent ripping off his uh, shirt. And I decided to do a little pop art piece for it. What I do with pop art is I basically uh, pick an iconic pose and then go ahead and pick a shape that also is iconic to the hero. For example, for Superman, an iconic pose would be him ripping his shirt open and the shape that I picked was the diamond that is the symbol of the S on his chest. And then once you have your basic sketch laid out, you're going to go in with extremely heavy black ink. So you're not going to look to do very fine details, you're just going to go in and pour in super heavy black ink. You can kind of see me just smudging stuff around, covering the whole page within that diamond shape in black ink. Now the idea here is that I want to give it a lot of heavy shadow and then come in with some light colors and give that nice contrast, that nice, um, that nice, you know, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it other than the word pop. It just reminds me of pop art, it's something that Gallagher would do or something along those lines. Um, so you can kind of see me here twiddling away at this uh, black marker. And next time I record, I'm going to try to move my hand out of the way more because I feel like it's rough for me. I'm left-handed, which means that a lot of times I cover what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to have to try to draw and color uh, with the edge, with the side of my pens and pencils, just so that you guys can see it a little bit more clearly, even if it means that the final drawing um, uh, suffers a little bit as a result. I feel like better video quality probably make you guys happier than having a pretty picture that you couldn't see the making of. So you can kind of see me here laying down the final little black lines here and I'm not worried too much about lighting or anything just darkness and then light as much as I can. So once I have that laid out I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start adding in some color. Now what I'm gonna do is because I'm going to color in first his skin, I'm going to erase the parts that I'm pretty sure I know how to color in. So everything that I've gone over with black, I'm just going to erase some of the pencil marks that are left in there. But I'm not going to erase all of the pencil marks on the drawing. Um, I will for the final piece, but you'll see what I mean in a bit. So I go in and I add in some skin tone, and as you can see, I'm just laying down a flat color for his skin tone. Mixing it with the black means that you'll pick up some of the black ink and create this kind of bleed shadow, which is uh, a mixed bag. I'm not sure if I like it or not. I probably don't like it, because every time it happens, I end up really upset. But in the end, the picture looks cool, so I don't complain too much about it. Anyway, as you can see, I'm coloring in all the skin, his hands, his neck, his face, uh, his glasses. I just made them dark sunglasses. I thought, hey, just because Superman wears glasses doesn't mean they can't be prescription sunglasses, am I right? Um, just thought that would be interesting. And then I'm going to go in with some reds for the S. And uh, when doing this drawing, I, I tried to figure out, okay, what color would be very representative of Superman? that I think would be missing in this drawing. And because Superman's main colors are blue, yellow, and red, uh, I felt like yellow would be a bit too much, and blue is in the main part of his suit, so I figured, hey, I can make the background red, and just kind of go from there. So you can kind of see me here, um, and I'm going to only color in the part of the shape that isn't covered by Superman himself. So 
I know that kind of seems confusing, but once you see it done, it actually makes total sense. Uh, it's really fun to do this kind of drawing. If you like Wonder Woman, try drawing Wonder Woman and then coming in and putting the Wonder Woman logo on top of her and then erasing everything outside of the logo. Now I let Superman's head pop out of the of the shield, of the uh, diamond shield. Um, I just thought that would look cool, but I didn't necessarily have to do that. I could have just left it as part of the shield or covered a part of his face or erased a part of his face. It doesn't really matter because with pop art, oftentimes it's more about the representation than the actual drawing. It's more about the color palette, the contrast, and the framing. And even if I would have cut off Superman's head, um, I think I would have had to move him up a little bit. But if I would have done that, I would have been okay with that because the representation would still be there. It would still be Superman. You would still know who it is. And it would just look cool. So the whole point of pop art is to make it look as cool and effortless as possible. Kind of see me here going in with some blues and kind of just smudging them around with my hand, my fingers. I did a few of these and I didn't record all of them because I figured once you guys have seen one done, you could go ahead and try some on your own without having to watch me do several of these in a row. Um, that would be quite boring. As for the dress shirt, I decided to make it a very neutral color, so I thought, yeah, I'm running out of gray. I may as well just use it until it dies. And uh, I'm still in the process of using it until it dies. Um, one of my things is that I don't like to throw a marker away unless it's completely dead. And yes, I know I can refill these, but the refills cost almost as much as the marker, so I feel like I'll just get a new marker. I don't really care. And so I'm coming in here with this gray. I'm just kind of filling it out. No white highlights, no fancy colors, just very simple. And I think the final color is that yellow that's missing on his crest. So I come in with a nice thick yellow there. Just kind of smudge that in. And once that's done, I decided to give a little bit of an outline to the red because the yellow is very missing from this drawing as well. So I decided to do some of that. And you can kind of see that some of the... Um, pencil lines are still underneath there and actually when I went back to erase whatever I had colored with marker I could not erase the pencil lines underneath that so it gave it kind of a weird um, sketchy look even though I didn't really intend on it immediately here I'm coming in with a little bit more skin tone trying to figure out if I can add some shading to that anyway let's take a look at some of the pieces that I ended up drawing in this style the first one was the green arrow one and here it is uh, it has the G for the green arrow. I thought that was quite clever. I don't know if the execution is perfect, but I love the dark and the light and the contrast. Next is the Superman one that I just finished showing you guys. Um, I think the pose is cool. It looks very pop art. I'm really digging it. Next is Shazam. I feel like this one came out a bit too dark, and uh, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. But it still looks like pop art. still looks kind of cool. And lastly, Spider-Man. This one came out too abstract. You can almost tell what Spider-Man is doing, but because it's so chopped up by the symbol, it doesn't really make sense. Thanks for watching the video. If you want, you can check out the last video I posted in the link below. There's also Facebook, Instagram, and Etsy links provided here for you to check out and hopefully see some stuff you like. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you soon. Take care.